All right, I'm going to cut across to Ashwat Narayan, who's joining us live right here on India Today. Thank you very much, sir, for speaking to India Today. Uh, Ashwat Narayan has been a minister within the BJP government. He's a senior leader in the BJP. Uh, sir, you made a comment while during a poll campaign in Mysuru where you uh, suggested to finish off Siddharamaya. An FIR has been filed against you under sections 153 and 506 of the IPC. Tell us a little more. What was your intention behind making that comment and how would you look at this FIR? A complaint that was filed, a comment that was made in February in today's date turning into an FIR. See, as a state and as a party, as an individual, what we have been seeing, the love for Tipu Sultan by Congress party is something unacceptable by the state of Karnataka and the people of Karnataka. Time and again, we have been opposing the JNT of the Tipu Sultan, which the Congress have been insisting. They have been continuing, and it was led by the earlier Chief Minister, now the present Chief Minister, Mr. Sidramaya. Something which we have been opposing consistently. Even then, they used to go ahead and uh, conduct, and uh, similarly, how the Mr. Tipu Sultan, Tipu Sultan was finished off in the state of Karnataka. Similarly, the Congress party should be finished. That was the spirit of the statement. We are law abiding and we are not for any harm to anybody. We don't believe in harming anybody and we want to abide by law. That was very clearly stated by me, even in the floor of the house and in front of the media, the floor of the house. The issue was raised by the Congress party. We made it very clear. We have got no intention, we have not made that statement in that spirit. The basic spirit was to only to expose Congress party and expose Mr. Sidramaya and in this direction we had made and we expressed regret also if it is hurting the feeling of the Congress party as the right. Mr. Sidramaya. I expressed regret and the issue was closed and it was completed. Now, all of a sudden, once coming back to the power, the vengeful uh, politics by the revenge politics are the vengeful politics by Congress party is backed. So they wanted to uh, make use of their power and their government. So they, in the meeting held by Honorable Chief Minister, the Deputy Chief Minister, made a statement why a case was not uh, booked against the Minister Ashwat Narayan, why mm. it was not booked. So that was the uh, kind of statement or the direction he gave in the meeting. So immediately after that, we could see the case being booked. So they have been showing their power and their mind do you believe, and mindset, do you believe, their attitude, which is really contemptible, vengeful yeah. politics and uh, misuse. They, can, they have been given power and opportunity to do better things and to implement the guarantee. They can force more, focus more on the guarantees and give a good governance. That will be good for them. With, instead of that, they're trying to threaten, intimidate, and arm twist the opposition leaders. I think it is not appreciable. I think this kind of attitude okay. It's not good for their government or the people. Right, right. But Ms. Mr. Ashwat Narayan, this was a comment that was made in February. A complaint was filed. Today's date, we're looking at an FIR and after Congress has come into power. Uh, the police taking action as of today. Do you look at this as vendetta politics? Is the Congress taking revenge? 100% it is a vendetta politics and this is something unacceptable. They're trying to okay, we'll face it. We'll face it legally and politically. And uh, what may come, we are willing to face. Right. Uh, Mr. Ashwat Narayan, at this point, we see that the bite that you've given, in fact, that uh, the context with which you spoke, uh, we saw a slight laughter right towards the end of it. Uh, you may have said it in a light way, but that's taken very seriously by the Congress party. Uh, you said very clearly in that, in that uh, speech at a public event, just like how uh, Uri Gauda, Nanjay Gauda finished off Tipu Sultan, we must finish off Sidramaya. Did you really mean murder? I made very clear in the floor of the house itself, there was no intention to harm any individual. There's no question of harming anybody. We don't believe in the politics of harming anybody, taking law into the hand. Totally, we condemn any of the thoughts itself. We are not for it, and we made it very clear. It is only to, in the spirit of, you know, the backdrop of election, we need to take off, finish the Congress party. That is the spirit of it. I got a lot of respect individually for Mr. Sidramaya. With regard to the ideology, we differ. His ideology is completely different, and we don't believe in his ideology. And the way of uh, his politics is completely uh, unacceptable. And we are very clear about We are not for appeasement politics. We are clear. We are for all 
regional communities their appeasement politics is something outdated unacceptable to any person in this country and this state so they are into that appeasement politics something not good their only vote bank politics is into completely vote he is a complete politician so he is a basically a politician complete politician so i don't want to talk much about it we i may let me make it very clear we have got no intention of arming anybody of any of the finish of nothing like that only finish of congress party all right mr ashwin narayan as you say that you're going to fight this back legally um, and, and now that the congress comes to power they've also made a very big comment a statement of sorts that the congress has made saying that they're they're not going to hesitate or shy away from banning the rss as well just like what they did as part of their poll promise that they would crack down on the bajrang dal now you have priyank kharge saying even the rss if they do not follow rules they will be cracking a whip on them the first the congress party should look at itself see rss is a nationalistic party patriotic organization patriotic organization patriotic uh, nationalistic organization so they don't they don't need lessons from congress leader who don't have any moral ethics nothing they are just proud to get back power power they are only power oriented not society oriented not people oriented they don't care for nation and they are for todo group they are all the todo gangs and they are into any kind of appeasement they don't have line length they don't have clarity they are just opportunistic they are just parasites so i don't want to talk much about they have got no eligibility no morals to talk about rss rss is very clearly it is for all section for all religion they have been working consistently not for any power position or any any of the expectation so priyank karge power has gone to his head he keeps talking all these things and i think completely we don't need this kind of lessons from congress party you know are uh, talking about things all we are not we are tolerant they are only intolerant they are into divisive they are into vote bank politics see they have uh, destroyed this very social fabric of this country they don't have any rights to talk about All right. All that aside, a final word on the guarantees that the uh, Congress has made hasn't yet trickled down. We're seeing a lot of talk and chatter among people. In fact, your own leader, uh, Pratap Sivar, has said that he's going to launch a protest along the Mysuru region against the Congress government if they do not deliver on their promises by June 1st. Your take on that? Yeah, already people have started responding, responding with regard to the payment of the power bills. Yes, they're telling I'm going to free, I'm going to free. free for me free for you that is the statement here yes, free for everybody now they are coming with conditions which is unacceptable to people they told it is free for everybody free power to everybody uh, for every woman 2000 rupees for every graduate uh, stipend so for every possible person 10 kg in the bpl card so like this they have promised many things power free so they are to stick on to it and they told uh, immediately after coming to power within wasting no even a second they will be delivering so people have become restless they have to respond as a party will see when what uh, decision when to start protesting or to insist on the implementation will see when the party will take a call now let me not talk about the individual statement but anyhow uh, parties they to expose the commitment of the congress party the delay in the implementation all right sir in about the date and time All right. All right. Thank you very much Ashwath Narayan for joining us and giving the BJP stance on this. Thank you.